Ladies and gentlemen, let the biochar trials begin. This weekend marked the beginning of my indoor biochar trial, which will test two simple hypotheses. First, adding biochar to a potting mix at a rate of 5 to 10 percent of the mix will not have an impact on the germination rate of seeds. And second, adding biochar to a potting mix at a rate of 5 to 10 percent will result in larger plant growth. In preparation for the trial, four weeks ago I blended biochar with worm castings in order to charge the biochar with nutrients and inoculate it with microbes. Now that the biochar has charged for four weeks, it's time to get the trial started. So this weekend, I prepared the potting mixes for the control and test groups, started the seeds for the plants in the trial, watered them, and placed them under lights. This doesn't sound terribly exciting, but I must say that I am excited to see the results. I had hoped the YouTube audience would provide a built-in form of peer review for the trials, and they've done just that. In response to feedback on my last video, two important changes have been made to the potting mix. First, the percentage of worm castings in the potting mix has been reduced from 50% to 25%. This is consistent with research that shows that the optimal level is somewhere between 20 and 33 percent. To offset the reduction in worm castings, an organic potting soil has been added to the potting mix. Second, the biochar in the potting mix has been reduced from 10 percent to 5 percent in test group A and from 20 percent to 10 percent in test group B. These percentages are more consistent with biochar manufacturer recommendations for potting mixes. The reductions have been offset with increases in coconut coir. So with the new guidelines in place, I prepared the potting mixes. Starting with the control group, I prepared a mix consisting of two parts hydrated coconut coir, one part organic potting soil, and one part pure worm castings. This resulted in a mix that is 50% coconut coir, 25% organic potting soil, and 25% worm castings. Then I moved on to the test groups. For the test group potting mixes, it's important to remember that the worm castings biochar blend that I created four weeks ago contains a ratio of five parts castings to two parts biochar. So seven parts of this mix equals five parts castings and two parts biochar. I prepared the test group A potting mix by blending 18 parts hydrated coconut coir to 10 parts organic potting soil to five parts pure worm castings, to seven parts of the castings biochar blend, which is five parts castings and two parts biochar. This resulted in a mix that is 45% coconut coir, 25% organic potting soil, 25% worm castings, and 5% biochar. I prepared the test group B potting mix by blending 8 parts hydrated coconut coir to 5 parts organic potting soil to 7 parts of the castings biochar blend, which is 5 parts casting and 2 parts biochar. This resulted in a mix that is 40% coconut coir, 25% organic potting soil, 25% worm castings, and 10% biochar. With the potting mixes ready to go, I started planting. I planted Gardner's Delight Cherry Tomatoes, Poblano Peppers, Dinosaur Kale, and Georgia Collards. I planted four of each plant in all three groups, resulting in 16 total plants in each group and 48 plants in total. I used identical cottage cheese containers for the pots and cut six drainage holes in each pot using a sharp utility knife as shown here. I filled the pots with potting mix up to this rim, which is about a quarter inch from the top. The seeds for each plant were from the same packet and were selected based on similar size and color. Three seeds were planted in each pot and pots were marked according to group and type of plant. For example, this pot contains a test group B tomato. Because the light sources aren't perfectly uniform, the pots were placed randomly under the lights to avoid preferential treatment of any group. The pots will also be randomly sorted under the lights every weekend. The pots will be watered on top until seedlings emerge, at which point the plants will be watered from the bottom. 
Other than watering and weekly rotating the pots under the lights, the next step will be to record germination data and select seedlings. When the first plant in a pot has developed true leaves, the number of seeds to germinate in the pot will be recorded for future analysis. Once this data is recorded, the plants that haven't yet developed true leaves will be snipped. If two or more plants develop true leaves at the same time, the largest will be selected and the rest snipped. In addition, before the plants are transplanted to the garden in the spring, I'll measure plant size by criteria that will be covered in a future video. In addition to the indoor trial, I'm also looking forward to the outdoor biochar trial in the spring. Originally, I intended to use my homemade biochar in the outdoor trial as well, if it performed well in the indoor trial. Unfortunately, I've realized that by the time I'm able to make that determination, it will be too late to make enough biochar for the outdoor trial. So I'll most likely have to purchase my biochar for the outdoor trial. At this point, I'm thinking of going with Soil Reef Biochar, which is a company Josiah Hunt works with. Josiah was recently featured in an interview on John Kohler's channel. I was very impressed with Josiah's knowledge and passion for biochar, which gives me some confidence in his product. In closing, I'd just like to thank everyone who is participating in or following the trial. I know that in some ways it's about as exciting as watching grass grow, but I'm hoping we'll see some exciting or at least interesting results before it's over, and I truly appreciate everyone's interest. Southpaw Davy and The Self-Sufficient Life are also conducting biochar trials, so please be on the lookout for their videos. In addition, Stephen Legary and Charm City Balcony Garden are conducting rock dust trials. I'll be following their videos with great interest and hope that you will too. For more information on the biochar and rock dust trials, please visit the Home Garden Field Trials G Plus community. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.